victory. Obviously not the, the result we're after today, but I thought in the first half in particular there were signs of a, a better recovery there in the team. The first half was OK, it was decent, um, we were probably on top of the game, but there's a reason for that, The wind it was wind-assisted. So I'm not going to read too much into that um, and think that we're, it, was, it was anything special. It wasn't, we were just on top of the game because, uh, because it was wind-assisted. We had a couple of chances and uh, a couple of half chances, a couple of near, near misses and uh, we never capitalised on it. And uh, So, you know, probably probably OK in the first half, but uh, disappointing second half. You decided to change your shape and your lineup and went two up top today. Can you talk us through that one? Yeah, well, yeah, I just thought we'd go... F when we had the ball, we needed somebody to play alongside Marcus and, uh, and I thought Zach can go and play when we had the ball up around, up around him. And when we don't have the ball, uh, Zach would drop in to the 10 and, and sit on the Kieran Jacobs. I mean, feel what she done brilliantly today. So uh, that, that in itself, in terms of shaping, that was fine. But um, in terms of uh, creativity and... Creating chances and that, you know, we're just not doing that and uh, it's really frustrating at the moment for me. I didn't think Prince Wavin was going to make the game today, but he offered out a real bit of stability in midfield, I thought. Yeah, listen, Prince has been struggling with a groin all week. He's playing with a groin, a groin problem today and if anything, you know, you can see how good he is on the ball. We just need to get other players doing the exact same thing he's doing and, and, and have that confidence on the ball and start keeping it and moving it and passing it and, 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 and showing a bit of belief. So, anyway, um, yeah. Damage, unfortunately, done in, in a period of you know, 90 seconds or so in the second half. It's uh, it's just so frustrating for me. Um, you know, there was an opportunity there to go and take something out of this game, if not win the game, and we shoot ourselves in the foot. Um, and we've been doing that constantly all season. Um, stop crosses in the box, something we've talked about for three weeks and worked so hard on. Cross comes in the box, we lose a goal, and then we lose a goal from uh, our own free kick into their box and. Not, not being proactive in picking up the second ball, we allow them to clear it and they catch us on the counter-attack. We make a decision not to go and press the, the guy that scores and then, uh, to be fair, you know, Mitch probably should have saved that as well. So we're shooting ourselves in the foot, we're giving ourselves mountains and then, it's, it's, as I said, it's, it must be very frustrating for the fans because it's frustrating for me. Obviously, I had a couple of departures during the week as well with Tom making way. I feel like a broken record, Ray, but January is going to be a really big month and how much hope has been put on that by everyone in the stands? Well, it's, I think it's mightily important that we, we recruit in January. Um, certain types of players, you know, um, won't be easy because, you know, if you're wanting real quality players, are generally under contract. So we need to be really smart on, on, on the recruitment. But... Um, I'm making no bones about it. We do need to bring better quality players into the team uh, to give us a real opportunity to go and beat teams and create chances. And, and also, we need, we need to stop giving away chances. So, both ends of the park, we need to be better. And uh, my job will be to, to make sure that come January, we're, we're definitely bringing people in. And just finally, it's a county back at the Falkirk Stadium midweek. Another tough game. They, I think, they won five 0 today. So it's going to be a, a bit of a confident side coming down the road. Yeah, of course. Uh, that, that's like that's their third or fourth, five, five, nothing or five one this season. They are the strongest squad, squad in the league by a, by a mile. You know, I've seen them played against them this season. Very big, powerful team. So they'll they'll be a real threat at home on Tuesday. But listen, you know, we've got to roll up our sleeves as a group, and uh, we need to make sure when we go in that park on Tuesday, we're all willing to give every single thing to get a result. Ray, as always, thanks for your time. Thanks very much. Cheers.